Hello everyone, welcome to or back to the new grid. I'm Kyle and in today's video I'm going to give you a little update from how I feel full self-driving beta 10.8 is doing. So I'm going to show you a few of the roundabouts which I've noticed still have some issues. I'm going to take the same routes that I really found phantom braking a bigger issue in and show you what I've found regarding that and I'm going to show you some other things that I believe have improved quite a bit. So first I'd like to discuss a little bit more about this new UI release. There's a whole big UI 11 that's a lot different than anything else we've seen so far. So I plan on making a video on that, so please consider subscribing if you'd like to see that and a more detailed explanation on what it's doing. If you'd like to see the light show, I'm planning on also making an additional video on how you can program that and make your own. For this video, for evaluating full self-driving beta 10.8, this is my initial test. I plan on running the same path in the daytime to see how it performs versus nighttime. And in this test, I am using the holiday theme. So with the holiday theme, you have reindeers as cars and you get elves as people, which I think is actually better to see the difference between them. So instead of just having kind of a shadow figure outline of a person, you actually get an elf which is green, so it's easier to spot if it's misinterpreting an object as a person. So with that, let's start out with the first roundabout. And as you can see, I'm entering this roundabout. There's traffic in the roundabout, so the car stops. It does continue to creep forward, but still without pulling completely out into the lane. However, it gets to a point where it keeps creeping, but doesn't actually want to move. So then I have to press the accelerator to continue making it go into that roundabout. And then a car approaching the roundabout also comes. So I had let off the accelerator at that point, and that car comes and when it's coming into the roundabout it's also trying to stop again to yield to them so that's still an issue I'm seeing in roundabouts and with that it also moved the car very close to the left hand side of the lane because it was afraid that car was going to be approaching it too fast so that's how the first roundabout went the next roundabout it starts entering the roundabout but beforehand it slows down and basically stops and there's no one in the roundabout at all and it just stays stopped so I press the accelerator and it starts going again but then another car is getting ready to enter and we should be ahead of it and they need to yield to us but the car is very afraid that that car is going to jump out in front of us so it's not moving through the roundabout correctly then in the final roundabout it takes it at a fairly fast speed and no one's in the roundabout so that's fine and it basically the path that it goes through that roundabout is extremely good before there was some shaking and jittering through the steering wheel because it wasn't exactly sure which route to take and it was constantly updating this path seemed very smooth and it was not a very jerky ride so that's how those went. Now as for phantom braking, I think I felt one small instance of it and I don't, don't even remember where it was and I couldn't trace it in this video. But then the spots that I did see it before noticeably, they were definitely gone and here's a video of the one mailbox that I really realized that was causing the phantom braking. There was another instance where we were moving around an obstacle on the side of the road and I don't know what it was detecting and why it was doing that and it's actually really hard to see on the camera so I'm not going to include that in here either but there was no evidence of any mailbox or person it th thought it was so I think that was fairly good I also noticed that when I was making a right hand turn when it was slowing down to make that turn, it actually put the turn signal on at that point, which was a big improvement. So instead of slowing down before making that right-hand turn, 
and then turning the turn signal on, the turn signal was on right as I was starting to slow down, which is perfect. And it made that turn very nicely and did, did that very well. So I did enjoy that. Now, coming to the end of that road where the speed limit switches from 55 to 30 in a very short period of time because there's a railroad and a train track, it even following a car, I could tell that it was not wanting to slow down as soon as it should have been. So that's an area that'll probably need to be improved upon. And also at this final four-way stop, it had a lot of hesitation before it started taking off. So I don't know why it just wanted to sit there for a lot longer than normal and then finally proceed through that intersection. So with that, please consider subscribing, like this video if you like this kind of content. I plan on making a whole bunch more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.